Fase. I'm your host, Abel Martini. I'm here with Ronald Sintu, and he is the director of the Bell Initiative. Yes. And I wanted to have an interview with you because for the last couple of years, we have seen great things happening uh, with this program, and I wanted to get it in depth. Oh, man. You okay. uh, of the program and how it is helping young Haitian entrepreneurs, students, uh, with an opportunity to, to, to come to the United States mm -hmm. and learn all about business and be exposed um, in a campus, university campus environment, etc. So, welcome. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you today. for having me. Well, it's a pleasure. So, well, Bell Initiative. What is the initiative? In a nutshell, mm -hmm. we are creating a vehicle where we can connect the diaspora uh, to those people in Haiti with the better on the ground and support them in building the country that we want to see. Okay. We're here living in the Good life, got good jobs, good money, right. doing our thing. We have access, but we to want to see that there too. Exactly. Right. Right. So, since a lot of the Haitians, remember I told you I met all those Haitians when I first got here. Right. And I could My first idea was to try to get them to move back, but um, <laughs> that didn't go so well, did it? Hey, no, that's <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, I think I think the diaspora. We want to be able to go to Haiti yeah. and create businesses and create opportunities, but I think it is kind of difficult to leave the life that we have here because it, you know there are some differences obviously yeah. you know in Haiti and to start over and things aren't as not that a business is ever easy to, to start but it's much more difficult, difficult. Yeah, yeah, in Haiti than it yeah. is here so the idea is to uh, is, since they're the ones that's going to stay in Haiti and commit to Haiti and mm -hmm. live in Haiti mm -hmm. let's support those entrepreneurs and right. give them what they need to build the Haiti we want to see so how do you find out about the program? How do you how do you promote this program in Haiti for them to even apply? Uh, so typically it's been through when we first started it was through word of mouth and social media. Really? Uh, yeah, and because huh. we had and we had some connects in Haiti at uh, hmm. the university, so we started putting it out there. Um, and then since then it's been growing. So a lot of it through word of mouth, we connect out, connected to universities. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this year we've done a little bit better with connecting with other uh, media platforms, uh, universities still, and then also those organizations and, uh, that are in the ecosystem. So, okay. uh, for example, Bunch is there. We have uh, uh, Sedel, and these are like incubators or okay. places um, where a lot of entrepreneurs um, uh, Kind of go. Okay. They meet up and, yeah. and yeah, uh, start up together. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we've been uh, really trying to penetrate that market. But one of the issues and um, weaknesses we've had is that, and that we're addressing this year, is that one, we have not been getting a lot of women uh, entrepreneurs from Haiti, and then we also want to diversify. Yeah, we want to diversify where they're coming from. So our goal this year for 2020 is to have entrepreneurs from each department in Haiti, all 10. Hmm. And so like say Cabaïtien or Jérémy, um, like especially in the rural areas. areas. Okay. We get a lot from Port-au-Prince naturally, right. the city, they have access to the internet, and right. a lot more resources, but uh, we don't get it from the departments like Glendance, um, the north, not a lot, northeast. Uh, like Hinch. Or, um, some other yeah. Areas. So we really try to get all over Broader. here, and Broader. then we want ten women, ten men. So those of you watching uh, this interview, if you have a family member, if you know someone that is a, a budding entrepreneur that is that currently has a business yeah. idea that would be able to benefit from this sort of program, please tell them all about it. And so we'll get to that in a, mo in a moment in terms of how they can find out the information, but I'm interested to know how do you fund this program? Oh, man. How's this being funded? Where's the money coming from, Ronald? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have to be very entrepreneurial. Uh, so okay. <laughs> so, so uh, but honestly, a lot of fundraising. Mm -hmm. um, so even the first year, we did a lot of fundraising to um, and uh, partnered with a lot of organizations to um, and explain what we're doing, and they supported us. So for example, the university that I worked with, um, both universities actually, um, Georgia Tech the first year in Albany State, we told them what we were up to, mm -hmm. and they really supported us in terms of oh, right. facilities mm -hmm. and making sure that we had the resources we needed to carry out. But we still have to fund it, so um, it does cost money, a lot of money, especially going from four to twenty. And that's why I asked the question: How are you making this happen? So um, this year um, we were um, 
we partnered and we, with the embassy and we were, did apply for a grant and we received the grant awesome. to help uh, fund it. But uh, we still have to come up on our end with some expenses, I mean with some uh, money to actually pay for the lodging and food and stuff like that. So uh, if you go to our website or you go to uh, the Chamber's website or uh, the Chamber's page, you'll see uh, we have a link that says Developer Haiti. And the Developer Haiti um, at Coswax, you can donate there. Uh, all of that, it's a, uh, the chamber is a 501c3, so uh, when you do donate, you, know, you can write it off for your taxes. So what's the website? Website, social media platforms? Website is bailinitiative.com, and our social media, uh, Facebook and Instagram, at Bail Initiative. Uh, LinkedIn, you can find us uh, as well, and I think that's all our platforms. Okay, and that, the bell is B-L, and then the word initiative. One L, okay, B -L. One L, right. All right, so that means please look into this program. Yes. As, as you've heard, this is going to be year number four. Number four. And it is growing, and it's an opportunity for us to enable, enable these young women and men to be able to have the resources, the knowledge, and the competency to take back and apply what they've learned and gathered in Haiti. So we can stop this, begin to stop the need of them always wanting to come abroad and, and, and leave. Give them the tools, equip them to be able to do the work in Haiti. Because this is the Haiti that we want to see. Um, you know, there's always this talk about a handout, a handout. This is not a handout. This is us working as a community to assist them to be able to do this and stand on their feet. Of course, with the support that's being provided via the right. Bell Initiative and of course the Chamber, etc. Yeah, and, and you know, I want to emphasize too, this is not something, uh, this is for us. Diaspora too. This is a vehicle for the diaspora to get involved and help me. We meet so I meet so many Haitians who say, "Man, I'm bad with you. you know, I'm happy with what you're doing. I've always wanted to get back to Haiti." Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, "You can still do it." Um, when they come here, we're exposing them to a lot of things they haven't seen. Some of them, some of them have never left Haiti. Right. So when they're coming to the U.S., they're exposed to new yeah. systems. Mm -hmm. They're exposed to different types of customer service. They're exposed to different kinds right. of business, different right. culture. Uh, but they're also exposed to the diaspora. And one thing you'll be shocked about is some of them, a lot of Haitians, are they think, they think the diaspora is tired of them. And I have to show them that. So they're surprised that this program exists because they're like, you want to help us. Uh, when they meet people over here who really believe. I'm, I'm glad you bring that up because may, maybe there is some element of truth to that because it's as though the diaspora is here and we're working and we're making a new life for ourselves and creating a, a new life for our generations here. And maybe they're perceived as the handout. They're always asking. Yeah. You know, they're always asking for help, send money, send this, that, and the other. Where this program yeah. is a 360 from that. It's equipping them to be able to do it for themselves. Yeah. So that's interesting that you know they feel like we're 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 tired of them. And, and, um, and, and, and what, what's the different impression that they get once they have this experience? What changes? Um, their whole mindset mm -hmm. and um, their intentions. Uh, the pride that they have in the way they look at Haiti now is an opportunity for them. Uh, they don't look at it as uh, they're doing something in vain because they really want to do it. These are different kind of entrepreneurs. Uh, and I'll say that. Um, when we started last year, we had a, a new experience where I brought in um, one of the, the instructors to teach them about finance. And he was so shocked because he's like, I've been, he, he's, you know, a, an entrepreneur. He's not Haitian. But he said the entrepreneurs in Haiti moved him so much because they are one of the few entrepreneurs that he ran across consistently that were doing something to give back to the country. All of them wanted to do something like create more jobs for their people. It wasn't just let me get rich, uh, which is naturally the intent here sometimes, which is mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But they also had a cause tied in. Right. And so he really supported them because he was like, Man. We still, we love Haiti. You know, even yeah. though we're here and we have a life here, we want to see a better Haiti. You know, right. we, don't, we, we want to see everyone have an opportunity and a better life. Right. You know, and better opportunities. So, yeah. all right. So you heard about the funding. You know how to go and, and uh, donate. And stay in touch with 
what's happening at the chamber sure. because th there are different fundraising opportunities there where you can donate and help. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not only donating money, yeah. but maybe yeah. your time, yeah. your expertise, yeah. etc. Yeah. You know, that's Volunteer. valuable yeah. as well. You can um, you can certainly volunteer your time. Um, connect with them as well. Connect. So we want to connect right. again. This is connecting the diaspora mm -hmm. to those entrepreneurs. So and even if you feel like you don't have it, it's not just about business owners or entrepreneurs. We're talking about professionals. Sometimes right. accountants, medical doctors, mm -hmm. whoever, uh, even teaching, we're connecting them. So as long as you can connect and bridge the resources and education and knowledge, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we're doing a big service today. Absolutely. All right, so any final words that you want to share for those that are thinking about applying and for the, those of us here, any final words for the Haitian community? I appreciate you all because you are continuing to lift up the Haitian community and spread the good news. Uh, and we pray that we can continue to collaborate and work together to bring uh, uh, some change in Haiti. Uh, we need a change, especially from the diaspora. I think we are the key to helping. No doubt about that. Um, with that. No about that. So this is a vehicle for us to do it with Bell Initiative uh, and definitely with this our Konsak Passe. You know what's up? So that's what's up. And Konsak Passe is here to bring you what's going on in the community uh, to expose all the good work and all the good things that we're doing for Haitian community and also back home. So you always want to tune in and you never know who I'm going to interview next or what we're going to be talking about next. But Thank you so much, Ronald. Thank you. Uh, I think this was very important to share. Sure. And um, again, if you have any question, you can, questions, you can also reach out to us at oconsacpasse at gmail.com or on uh, our social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook. And we have a YouTube channel as well, so you can subscribe there and watch all the, the videos that we've done. But let's be unified, Please. as it is the motto of so as always, this is Martini, and signing off.